Salutations, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to more Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. We're heading off to work. Oh, look, there's the fan I bought. Yeah. We're off to work. Saturday. Gillian's not going to be here. Hassy Zero. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Look, just because last weekend we had corgis pissing all over the place doesn't mean we're going to have corgis pissing all over the place this weekend. Right? Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. <sighs> you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get to, down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like a total opposite would happen. Not to mention, I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. <laughs> Gil isn't back yet? He said he's the... Nope. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? Yup. She was sleeping so peacefully, I felt bad about waking her up. So, uh... Would you mind doing that for me? No! No! Wait. Oh my goodness. Actually, yes, I mind. But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour, and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. Where am I? Oh, right! Shut it down, town bar! Let's see, all my gear is in place, and neither my pants nor my panties, shirt or bra, have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. Good evening. <laughs> evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. <laughs> Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. Don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye! Okay. I'm kind of glad that that was kept short. Hello guys and gals, streaming chance back in action with her batteries reloaded. Oh, the moon, it burns! I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible unto the world. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. I forgot to take it home, I guess. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's get boss some rum. Go to the bottle of drinks tab and drag it to the shaker for mixing. Oh, that's how it works. Every drink here is priced at $500. Here you go. All right. I'm going to enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, then. Oh, we're... <sighs> Everything will be okay for say. I like it, okay? Time to serve mix and change life. Wait, what? Time to serve mix and change life? What? Wait, that's not how it goes. I was about to say. Time to serve drinks and change lives. No one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. Don't say things like that, Jill. You're asking for an invitation. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. Welcome to Valhalla! What can I get you? I'll have a blue flower. 
Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it! <laughs> Let's give this, um, brain a blue fairy. One, two, three, four, one, and... That's optional, so... Age it, mix it, blah, blah, blah. Bingo! Here you go. Here you go! Nice, oh, this is the fun. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff! I should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? Elite, I have the same system Lelibdo. Can I ask you something, um... Er... Miss? Call me Taylor. Just Taylor. I just a cutie like you could ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, Okay, just Taylor. <laughs> nah, too easy. <laughs> you are a brain in the jar, right? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure not a hologram of that. I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? <laughs> what? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's quite. That's saying quite a bit in these parts. Or fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech. You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are we bra brains living in conditions that allowed us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computers in our jar scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner working of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of the world's five brains and jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sad no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Oh my god, this, this voice is doing things to my nose. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? Well, with the commotion around and all. I didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. I just just that I figured for a brain in the jaw wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help uh, people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder... Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, yeah and yeah, I'll make you happy. One beer to make Taylor happy. Oh, let's see, we got one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, then you mix it all together and what do you get? A beer. Here, a beer. Ah, yes, no matter what happens, beer's always good. It's interesting, though. Just yesterday I was talking about to a client about brain uploads. Oh, you were? Yeah, we we're talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that too. Do you think that do you think that you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was intended indeed transferred? Like would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace else and so on? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment actually. They can make an actual fu they can make a functional lilum. Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything though, just wiring him just wiring him to a body. Oh. 
You think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar? I have to admit the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? <laughs> it was quite a shock actually. I didn't list too long though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life that that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside. <laughs> if you want to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Lilum can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brains and computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk jump routine might throw in a different behavior cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Uh, just, oh, Alma. Where's the courtesy one would expect from a plebeian boss staff? <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, we're just gonna go ahead and end this here for now. So thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. Everything's going to be okay.